Hi, we're here today from the Chilton team and we don't know anything about repairing a car or doing any type of car maintenance. But we're here today to do an oil change on this 2001 Toyota Camry using our Chilton DIY product. So far, all we've done is gotten the parts to repair um, or to do this oil change. Let me show you what I've got. We have this bucket for collecting the oil. I'm not exactly sure how it works yet, but we'll figure it out. A 10 quart oil drain. Yep. <laughs> sure. Okay. Next, we got some gloves so we don't burn ourselves because we're told the engines can get hot. Um, we have the oil, which is obviously really important, and I have five quarts of oil, and the oil is 5W30, because and that's what my manufacturer told me I should get. <laughs> well, and that brings up a good point. We found out today that you have to know whether your oil is synthetic or... Regular. Regular. We also have a wrench, and the guy at the parts store was able to tell me what type of wrench to get, so it's important to ask him or her if you don't know already. And we have the filter, which is also important. So I think first we're going to um, consult Chilton DIY. There's a video in there that shows us how to start this, this repair. So we're going to pull that up and take a look at it for a moment. And to change the engine oil and filter, begin by warming the engine to normal operating temperature. Then bring the vehicle into the shop. Okay, so we found out that the first step is to warm up your car to make sure that the oil will come out and then to open the hood. So we're going to attempt to open the hood since the car has already been warmed up. Loosen the oil filler cap and raise the vehicle on a hoist. Place a suitable container under the oil pan and remove the drain plug. Okay, so the next step it says is to put the gloves on, take the cap off, and to put the oil pan underneath to catch the oil. So, Rachel's going to put the gloves on and I'm going to try to find the cap. Engine oil. Oh, is that it? Sweet. For gasoline engines, energy. Is this oh, it? It says 5W30. Oh, and good. That's the oil that you got. Okay. okay, good. Okay, so we found the cab <laughs> with these hideous gloves on. I'm going to. <laughs> they look like they're the perfect size for you, too. I know. Okay. Just put All this right. on the floor. Now let's open up the pan. Okay, so we're under the car, and we found the, um, what is it called? The um, cap. We yeah. found the cap <laughs> to get the oil out. So we were, we thought that it was this one right here, because there's a cap on that one, but it turns out it's actually over here. Um, Can we point up to it? Can see that see? cap? That's the one. So we're going to take the cap off with the mm -hmm. wrench, and we're going to put our oil pan Underneath it. Like this, right? Should I do it? Yeah. Oh, I'm scared. Go for it. I'm nervous. Wait, should we consult the video to make sure that that's the next step? Yeah, let's consult the video. Okay. Place a suitable container under the oil pan and remove the drain plug. Be sure to wear safety glasses and to exercise caution as the oil will be hot. 
Keep in mind that used engine oil contains carcinogens and is to be treated as a hazardous material. Engine oils and fluids should be recycled or disposed of in accordance with local and federal regulations. Many technicians prefer to use latex gloves during the oil and filter service to keep their hands dry. Allow all of the oil to drain. Then replace the gasket or ring on the drain plug. And reinstall the drain plug in the oil pan. So we're on our way to the parts store right now. We just realized that we needed to buy a huge wrench to take apart the fuel filter. So we're going to buy that right now. Or the oil filter. I think the fuel filter is different. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're just leaving the parts store and we picked up a small filter pliers with an adjustable jaw grip to get our oil filter off and a funnel. And we're using the funnel for the oil, not for recreational purposes. So we're back underneath the car and we're just going to finish on um, screwing this um, cap. Yeah, the cap. Maybe I can do it with my hand. Okay. Yeah, I can. Oh my god, I'm scared. Ready? Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, honestly, kind of nervous right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I got the pan right here, so it'll be like. Okay, ready? Okay, yep. It's gonna. Okay. Yep. Ah! Okay. <laughs> We did. <laughs> Step one. <laughs> so now that we have the oil coming out um, and filtering into the tub, <laughs> whatever it's called, we're going to consult the video again to see what we have to do next. An oil filter wrench is usually required to remove the oil filter. Be careful to avoid contact with hot exhaust pipes as you use the filter wrench to break the seal of the filter to the filter housing. Then remove the filter and drain the oil into an appropriate container. With the oil filter removed, inspect the filter housing. Make sure that the gasket from the removed filter did not remain on the filter housing. Use a clean shop towel to wipe the housing paying particular attention to the area that seats the gasket for the oil filter. Then, lubricate the gasket on the new filter with clean engine oil and fill the filter halfway with new oil. And install the filter by hand. So next we're going to take off the oil filter and um, we just put this rag down here to just catch some of that residual oil that is going to come out when we take that out. So I have these humongous pliers that we're going to use that we got at the, um, the repair store. So let's give this a try. to loosen it and now I'm just going to be able to pull it off by hand. And we got it. There we go. So now um, I believe we're supposed to put this actually in the bucket of old oil just to let it sit there for 24 hours so we can dispose of it properly. And then the video says that we should fill this new filter up halfway with oil. So that's what we're going to do now.
Do you want me to hold one of them? Or? Do you think I need a funnel or is it okay? I think you're okay. Uh, I should have used the funnel. That's all right, because we're supposed to lubricate the top of it too. Oh, okay. So. Oh, <laughs> sorry, I could have done that for No, that's all right, I don't mind. Okay, so you just want to lubricate up the new um, oil filter just to give it a nice base for when you start your car back up. So now I'm going to put the oil filter back on and um, we put the oil in halfway up to the top so now I'm going to go ahead and put it in there and screw it in. Okay, now the video says not to tighten it too tight because it actually says that it will expand. Um, once you drive it, so um, I think that's probably good. Now we're going to clean up down here and remove the rag. And now it's time to get the funnel, <laughs> not for beer. <laughs> Based on this engine type, we're going to need 4.7 quarts of oil. So you first want to determine what type of engine you have. But we're going to fill up the oil slowly and continually check the dipstick to make sure we've got it correct. finished pouring all the rest of the oil and I'm just going to check the dipstick really quickly. All right, so if you can see on the dipstick, we have the oil mark right about there, which is perfect. You always want it to be in between these two marks right here and here and closer to the top. So where we have it is exactly where you want it. So it looks like we're good to go. Now the last step is just to start the car up and make sure that nothing's dri dripping or leaking. We want to put the gas, the cap back. Yeah. Oh yeah, and we want to put the cap back on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, so the last step is to start the car and make sure that there aren't any leaks. So I'm just about to do that. So I don't think there are any leaks in here. We don't need to worry about that. And then we just have to check, we just have to check underneath the car and make sure there aren't any leaks in here. All right, it looks like we're good to go. All right, so we're all done with our oil change and it's time to relax a little bit. Kick it back and relaxing with a good old beer.